Hi guys, good morning, this is Dan. Welcome to Engelgeist. Um, for those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much for your subscriptions. I greatly appreciate it. This is the daily forecast. It is for all signs, um, and it is a daily forecast, but it's to be used kind of when you see it. It's originally created for Monday, the 20th of December, but if you're seeing it on a date that's not the 20th of December, if the message still resonates, it's okay to use it, you know? Um, I see that there's a lot of flexibility in, in readings, and so if this finds its way to you at a different point in time, and it still sort of makes sense to you or fits with your life, take it and use it. Make the most of it, right? For those of you that are new to me, welcome. I've noticed that my uh, subscriber numbers have cl climbed a little bit, and so I'm very happy to see that happening. Um, I have been trying to post my uh, readings in other groups, and I think that's helped a little bit. If those of you could also do the same in groups that maybe will accept it, please don't post it anywhere where it's unneeded or unwanted. I've joined some Pisces groups in hopes that I could speak to some of my people there, but they don't allow me to post my videos in there. And I'm like, that's so crazy because um, I'm a Pisces and this is what I do. And it says like one of the rules in the group is give more than you share. And this is like a free reading. So I'm giving it to you. Like, you know, it's not like this is what I do. This is what I love to do. So why wouldn't I be able to share it? But they don't allow it. So I'm not sure where to take my readings to, but please, if any of you guys have any ideas, uh, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I do believe in the magic of the universe. I do believe that these readings will find whoever they need to find when they need to find them. So uh, trust in that. All right. Please also check out the drop down menu if you're interested in what decks I'm using, if you want to follow me on social media. If you feel the need to book a private reading or want further insight that's more specific to you, you can always contact me that way. All that information is in the drop-down menu. Any questions or comments that you leave on the video, I will read and I always appreciate. Please feel free to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the reading. It greatly helps me and the channel. And um, uh, I think that's it, really. Uh, subscribe if you're new to me and you want to like, you know, regularly watch the videos. Today, my screen seems very bright. The sun is out, but it's cold today, but I'll take it. You know, at least the sun's out. Yesterday, it was gray and rainy, which is not necessarily bad for me as a Pisces, but I'm kind of glad the sun's out, although it's cold. So let's see what the card is for today. Ah! Speaking of Pisces energy, it is the uh, Hanged One or the Hanged Man, which is uh, a major arcana card, but it is also associated with the sign of Pisces. Maybe I was talking a little bit too much about the Pisces groups. Sorry, it's a little bit out of focus. Let me get it back into focus. So this is a card that has to do with feeling maybe stuck, but if we don't fight against that stuck energy and we sort of sit in it and we learn from it. If we have a conversation with it, if we sort of embrace it or accept it as it is, usually spiritual enlightenment will unfold from the situation. And what I find interesting is seeing this card is yesterday's card was that eight of swords, which is also an idea of being stuck, which was that underpinning energy, right? But it had that eagle for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, if you watch Sunday's reading, which will be in the lower um, left-hand corner at the end of this video, um, the first card of the week, which is the underpinning energy of this Eight of Swords energy, right? Which is this idea that we're stuck when we're really actually not. We might be trapped in a thought. We might be trapped in a certain way of communicating. We might be trapped in a certain sort of cycle or tape, um, uh, rigmarole, <laughs> whatever you want to call it that has been maybe going on for a while and we want to be free of it. Well, the hanged man is here to let us know that if we hang here long enough and we just sort of listen to it and don't resist it, we can actually release ourselves from it. And in that release, we attain a sort of enlightenment or an awareness that is going to be to our benefit, that is going to be... Why is my camera so... I think it might be the colors of this card that's making it go out of focus. Um, that will bring us a very powerful 
awareness, illumination, understanding generally of a deep spiritual nature that will then allow us to move on. This is the pause that we need to take to really reflect upon what is going on around us. Why is it going on around us? How is it making us feel? Why are we feeling that way? You know, all those questions we usually don't want to sit in. Well, the hangman is going to make us sit in it. But it's like we can choose to sit in it in a, from a place of it, like enlightenment or learning, or we can choose to sit in it in a place of resistance and frustration. And so the minute we get into that enlightenment and that learning, the lotus blossom opens, the illumination happens, and the hanged man is then free to move on, right? And it has a, a greater awareness, a greater understanding. He's the freedom that we saw in that eagle that was flying towards the future. I, it was the, the Eight of Swords card in this deck to me is the most freeing Eight of Swords I've ever seen in my life because generally it's depicted by a woman tied up, blindfolded, and surrounded by a sword. <laughs> and this one was not that at all. It had something, it did have swords pointed at a heart at the center. So it's like, to me, that's the heart of the matter or our true emotions, our true feelings. Are we avoiding them? Are we not dealing with them? Are we putting them aside? The hanged man here seeing that on top of that card is telling me that, you know, today's the day to maybe do that reflection. Today's the day to sort of um, sit with ourselves and be okay with ourselves, even if in our frailties, even in our mistakes. It's okay to embrace those things and understand them better and um, hold them close and dear in a way because they're all just part of the process of learning and growing. Does that make sense? So don't resist anything today, even if it poses a challenge or if it wants to like, um, uh, what's the word like? prick up your hair on the back of your neck. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, when a dog gets irritated, like my youngest dog, Cora, she's the smallest of the house. I can hear her in there right now. She's roughhousing with everybody. She's the smallest one, the youngest one. She's also kind of the most fierce one of the bunch. And when she gets upset, her hackles get raised, right? And she will start barking and she raises her hackles, which is the hair on her like lower back and the back of her neck. And so if something gets your hackles up, don't notice it. Like, I mean, that came out wrong. Don't not notice it. Stop and pause and go, okay, wait, why are my hackles up? What's going on here? What is it within me that is making me feel this way? Does that make sense? Because remember, the healing card for the week is that self-sabotage card. And this, to me, this hanged man says we want to get free of whatever that self-sabotage is mechanism is that we're doing to ourselves potentially even if we're unaware of it the hanged man will bring us that awareness because he will keep us here um showing it to us until we sort of uh come clean with it and understand it now here is the um uh, heal yourself card I, I kind of love her she's giving me very steampunk realness uh it's unleash your creativity it's card number 31 which would be a four fours to me are about um stability right i always think of um uh fours as uh four legs on a table you know bringing balance or stability and we need a little bit of stability because the hanged man is upside down feeling stuck right so this stability usually using your you guys let's not bring the fight in here guys here they all come they're gonna come rough house in here i should have put them away before i started this can you guys like go like to another country is that possible? Daddy needs a break. Daddy loves all of you, but Daddy needs a break. Um, so what I mean by this is um, while we're being forced to maybe look at something or sit with something that might make us a little bit uncomfortable or might make us feel a little bit trapped, suffocated or whatever, this unleashing our creativity is, is how can we look at this more differently? How can we work on this? I like that she's got this steampunk realness and I love that she has this C3PO guy behind her. He kind of reminds me of this weird sort of robotic or alien spirit guide or something that's going to kind of help her out of this situation, right? If we think outside of the, like if we use our creativity, if we use our, our um, wider or more open mind, we're going to understand better why we are limiting ourselves in certain areas or why we're getting our hackles up in certain areas around certain people or situations. And ultimately that creativity, that um, 
you know, to me, fours are very grounded numbers, right? Because of that stability they provide. So if we can ground ourselves as best we can while we're feeling these sort of our way through these thoughts, feelings, emotions, whatever, we are going to be able to move ourselves forward in a new way, in a new creative way. Does that make sense? So keep that in mind. And then let's go to the grounding stone. And remember the grounding stone for the week. This guy's underpinning all of these grounding stones that we're looking at this week is that word joy. So try and maintain that level of joy even while we're doing this work, even while we're being sort of creative or thinking outside of the box of like, okay, how can I better suit myself to this situation that maybe causes me unpleasantness? Or how can I better relate to this person or communicate with this situation in a way that doesn't necessarily uh, bother me or hinder me or hold me back or suppress me in any way, right? The word here is our health. We want to understand that we need to, and what I mean by grounding in this health, first of all, joy, that high vibration is going to bring about better health for us. But anything that feels trapping, limited, uh, fear-based, stressed out, that's that eight of swords energy that we're trying to free ourselves from. That's this hanged man that's trying to force us to look at, okay, this is where you're holding yourself. This is where your fear is bringing you to. Unleash your creativity stabilize yourself think about your better health what would a world look like if you were in a place of um you know freedom if you were free of you know not allowing this person's situation or idea to push your buttons anymore and allowing that you know focusing or grounding in the idea of just a, you know emotional health physical health mental health as being the goal of no longer allowing that with which hindered you to come in anymore. It's not about resistance, guys, too. I don't want you to think that you're to resist whatever is bothering you. The hanged man is here to let you know you sit with it, you talk with it, you learn with it, right? And it will teach you what it needs to teach you to enlighten you so that it no longer has the power that it once did in the in in the past. Remember, we have that Ace of Pentacles coming midweek, so something is about to shift. Let me read you Unleash Your Creativity really quick, just because she's a new card that we've not seen. Oh God, the whole family's here. All six dogs are in the bedroom now, in the office with us. And they're all under the desk, and I'm going to have to kill all of them. All right. Unleash Your Creativity. What are you doing? Stop it. Stop. Okay. Unleash Your Creativity. Your creative talents and abilities are your most powerful assets. Allow your imagination to roam without limits and access new ideas without judging them. It is time for you to be innovative and birth unique creations. If you're feeling stuck, get up and move. Try new things, meet new people, read books, paint, etc. Concentrate on the area of your life where you need to be creative. Are you a great singer who needs to share your talents with others? Do you have an affinity with gardening? Can you tell powerful stories? Are you technically minded? Can you whip up amazing meals? What is your spe special flavor of creativity? Whatever it is, give yourself permission and the time to be inventive. What, the more creative you allow yourself to be, the more fulfilled you are going to feel. The action on this card is focus on a challenge. Ask yourself, is this true or are there other points of view I can adopt in relationship to, in relation to this issue? Take some pencils and pens and draw these options without judging or limiting them. Then stand up and ask your higher intelligence or your higher power in some cases to show your new ways to show you new ways of doing things. Put on some music and dance. When the song ends, ask yourself, what other possibilities and creative ideas can I access? Take a pen and paper and write them down. And essentially with this, you know, you may not feel like you can move so much because the hanged man is that little bit of stuck, but this unleash your creativity brings us this opportunity to kind of move around and play around with ideas that bring us to a place where we might be able to be enlightened by what used to limit us, what used to hold us back, what used to um, cause us fear, stress, or anxiety, right? Those things, there's an opportunity with the hanged man that emotionally, because he's associated with the sign of Pisces, he's an extremely emotional card, he's an extremely spiritual card, he's an extremely um, intuitive, like psychic card, right? So this is like finding out at the depths of what's in our, like our minds, our hearts, our souls, and 
you know, we want to do this work so that we can be at that optimum health, mentally, physically, spiritually. Um, today is a beautiful day to do that. And I think that the cards that we saw this week so far on Sunday's reading indicate that we are moving away from something that is no longer serving us in a very big way. Um, and maintaining that level of joy that we saw in yesterday's grounding stone with whatever it is we do and with whatever challenges we face is going to assist us to move to this better place of health, uh, more creativity, more enlightenment, and ultimately our own personal freedom. So that is your forecast for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Share this video with anybody that you feel like can enjoy it. For those of you that um, uh, are new to me, please subscribe, leave a question or comment. If anything didn't make sense, I will try and answer it for you. And um, uh, check out, like I said, the drop down menu. Uh, gives you all the information on the decks that I use, where to find me if you need to, um, if you need to message me directly. And um, I will be here tomorrow to see how this energy changes, okay, and see what else goes on for us. Uh, take care and have a wonderful day, you guys. Bye-bye.